Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So please just ignore my dirty appearance. My hair's literally like four days old. I've still got it in the two plaits. Um, it's currently Friday the 5th of April. I am literally just about to upload my Future of Journalism work, which was the 4,000 word essay and the article I did. Basically, if you didn't know, I wrote an article on Charlotte Emily here on YouTube. Um, I did like a little interview with her and I found it Carrie um, and... I have done my work on like the rise of YouTubers and how like bloggers are going onto YouTube. Um, I love the article. It's like one of the, my most favorite things I've written. I've actually enjoyed writing it, which is a good thing. But yeah, I'm literally just about to upload that. I'm so scared to so say it's like the same time. This is my. I've got two more deadlines after this, and then that's it of uni. So this is my third to last deadline. Scary times, but yeah, I'm ready to submit. I'm scared and excited. Fingers crossed it's all right <laughs> so here's all the bits um submit button are you ready guys are you ready because <laughs> i don't think i'm ready <laughs> right uh, submit bye my lover goodbye my friend <gasps> there it is look it's gone oh my god ah! one deadline gone two to go I mean, the two other main deadlines that I've got, I mean, the next one's my magazine, so... Scary times, but, oh my god, it's gone. Oh! <laughs> Every deadline, I'm just like, yes, one step closer to finishing. Buzzing. Hi guys, so it is now Sunday. Um, I've been at work this weekend, hence why there's been no footage, because work takes up my weekends, basically. What is my hair doing? Move. Um... But yes, um, since my staff discount is now on and I'm buzzing about it, um, I got basically a lot for half the price. So I did a little bit of shopping with the little money I have till payday. Um, I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, so we'll start with some basics that I can't believe are the price they are, which are these cycling shorts i needed some more because mine have gone really thin around the crotch i don't know why i put a little thing um what was i saying put a little thing cycle shorts the very like cheap feeling which i don't like and these are from primark and they feel a lot lot thicker the shorter as well which i prefer and these were two pound two pound for some good quality cycle shorts like you actually can't go wrong so I got them to go with that or to wear with them. I've, everyone's been bringing these this top over to my till and they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to wear it as a t-shirt dress. Little clue. Um, so I liked it, so I decided to pick it up. So it's this. Oh my God, I've just got this one. No. So it's this. You know, I'm going to see this t-shirt. Um, it's like a nude colour, black and white stripes. Um, I got it in a size large so it's long and it just covers my bum but with cycling shorts I think it'll look fine so I'm envisaging this in summer with my cycle shorts um, and a belt probably to cinch me in but yeah love that and that was £6 I don't know how much the whole thing well I do know how much the whole thing came to but I don't know the what it would have been with the original prices I spent £15 on it but I know it'll work out like more but I just can't work it out now my brain's not functioning enough to work out how much the reduced price is what um, next thing I got was some scrunchies you all know that I love scrunchies I really like these colours I'm feeling these are like very 80s 90s colours and there's like a bright hot pink a vibrant orange and then this really pretty tealy green emerald day colour um, £2 for three bargain and the last thing I got was a pair of shorts now I've seen these shorts, like everyone's been buying them and I was like, I love them. Like, I'm obsessed with them. Um, they're these contrast stitch shorts. Um, so they're black with white stitching. They've got a belt with them. They're meant to be paper bag. Um, but because literally the only sizes they had were a size 10 and a size 20, I tried the size 10 on and they fit. They absolutely do fit because they've got that much stretch because they're meant to be a paper bag. But they just fit and look like normal shorts. But I do still like them on. So I still decided to buy them. Um even though they're meant to be paper bag, they're meant to like bunch up at the top, these don't on me, but that's fine because I still love them. Um, I also got even more money off them because there's a sticker mark, I don't know if you can see, on the inside of the belt, so I got even more off them. These are originally 
15 pound but i think i got something ridiculous like a fiver or something daft like that um pics of waking up primark love it um but yeah that is what i bought good morning everybody it's tuesday today um today i've got uni nine till two and then i'm meeting megan in town because we're having like an early birthday celebration because i'm not actually going to see her on her birthday so we're having like an early little celebration um, but yeah, I'll show you my outfit of the day. So outfit of the day, I've gone for a similar look to what I wore in my last vlog when I went to York. But that is because um, we're filming Showreel today for our end of year exhibition. And I really want to wear this headband and it goes nice with this outfit. So basically, I just recreate the look. So headband's Primark, denim jacket's over and outfit is. This little v-neck t-shirt is from uh, Topshop. Um, Topshop fave, mom jeans, um, and then I'm gonna have some white trainers on because who am I if I don't wear my white trainers? Oh yeah, that's not. I'm also on the hunt for some it's at Primark, uh, so me and Megan I think are gonna go and have a look around because she said she hadn't been in a while, so I was like, you need to go because there's some really nice bits in. So yeah. So I am finally back home now guys, I'm back at home, finally I'm in my comfies, my hair's gone up, you just have to deal with it, got my comfy jumper on, um, I've had a really good day um, at uni, Karis helped me out massively on my website so big thanks to Karis for that because it would not look as good as it does now without her help. Do you also like the fact I'm coordinating my scrunchie with my nails? Can we just appreciate that? Um, but yes, she helped me out with that. I was meant to have a tutorial with my lecturer, but I didn't know that was happening. Um, sorry about that. Um, but then we did the the clip that you saw where I was in the studio. I'm just gonna sort my hair out. The clip that you saw was in the studio was filming for the showreel, so we had to answer some questions, which is gonna be shown at our end of year exhibition, which is, I mean, I looked very ratchet because my hair was stripped, but then when I got to uni, it was naturally wavy. And by naturally wavy, I mean it literally, it just, it like kinks out round my ears and then goes straight. And I'm like, why do you do this to me? And also, I don't know why, but does anyone else's makeup do this? It's coming off from my forehead. Like, why? I haven't been sweating. Like, what is this? Why you do this to me? Um, but apart from that, I saw Megan. We had like an early birthday celebration. We did some shopping. We got some bits because I got some refund money back. So I was like, I'm going to treat myself. Also, shouldn't discounts on. Also, there was like 5% off in all the stores. So I was kind of like, hmm. I didn't go too mad, but I got some bits. So I thought I'd share them with you. Um, so let's start with... Primark, I've got two bags from there. Excuse the bags because they were pushed into my bag, hence why the bag looks like this. Um, so I'll start with the first round. So, the thing that I went into Primark looking for was this um, beach cover up, and I was so happy that I found it. It's gonna be so hard to show, I'm gonna try and show you. It's this, mo it's this beautiful black lace, uh, like kimono, um, beach dress this was originally 12 pound again don't know i don't know what i got because i got them discounted because i'm obviously staff can't work it out right now but i'm just going to tell you the full prices but yeah it's this beautiful black lace i'm gonna be able to see around my hand beautiful black lace beach cover up i'm so excited to go on our girls holiday as you can tell because i'm buying stuff far too early but it's better to have it than not have it um, and it's so nice. I'm so excited to wear this. I think this is going to look beautiful over my colourful bikinis. Also the bikini that I'm about to show you next because it coordinates with my nails and this scrunchie. It is beautiful. I think that's just going to be a look. Um, but yeah, £12. Can't go wrong. And now, this bikini, buzzing about it, and this colour is beautiful. And as I said, by my nails and my scrunchie, you probably know what colour it's going to be. It's this hot pink bikini the top is you can't see it's that vibrant hot pink bikini the top is four pound um so it's just triangles which i like because you can undo the straps and still just have the bra on and also it's good for tanning and then the bottoms which are just these 
hot pink bottoms. These were three pounds, so seven pound for a bikini. I'm sorry. And literally, it's neon. Like I don't think it's coming up on camera how neon this is, but it's a vibe with my nails and that scrunchie. Um, and these are gonna look really nice. So these look a bit thin and near the vagina area, so we'll have to see what they look like. But I think they should be fine. Um, but yeah, love them. Um, next trip. <laughs> the bags looking ratchet. Um, this round, I got myself like a new lounge set. Um, so the top I got was this little cropped. This was some pajama section, but how cute is this? It's like a forest green um, crop top, and it's got these like ribbed details on it. And this was two pound fifty. Again, can't go wrong. Um, so that's cute. That can be a pajama top. But I think I'm just gonna wear it as like a lounge top. And then the joggers I got to go with them are these ones now these are from the men's section but primark men's joggers are so much better than women's eight the cheaper these were five mm, these were five mm, these were five mm. my earring getting that side my earrings falling out um these were five pound the women's ones are like seven eight quid and these are thicker you can't see the colour, they're really, really light grey. Five pound got size medium which is what I if you're a size twelve get a size medium in men's um, and inside they've got the softest, thickest liner. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Like, look at that. That is quality. £5. And they've got a pocket on the bum, which makes me so happy because women's... And they've got pockets on either side because women's joggers never have pockets. Please, can women clothing designers make women's joggers with pockets? Thank you. But yeah, I keep getting washed out because of how cool for this is, but love these staple we we'll to be buying all my joggers from time right now because if they're like that can't go wrong um and then the last thing i got was in the holister in the holister sale um i never used to be a holister girl but recently i've just been going in and like finding amazing bits also i just appreciate the workers there because the workers in my local holister i mean beautiful um but I got this pair of shorts for, they were £30 and I think I got them for 10 something ridiculous like that, they were down in the sale. Um, so they're these sports shorts, this is a holister along the top, so this is holister along the band. They've got the white, hello? <laughs> They've got the white and red um, ta uh, mm, edging. Um, and the, the, honestly, the best quality I've ever felt. These are a size medium. The only size mediums left. I feel like Hollister's sizing is a bit all over the place. So they had a lot of the bigger sizes left. But this medium converts to like a 12 to 14, which I am. So love that for me because all my size is in sale. Um, but yeah, that was around £10. So love that. So yes, I'm going to end today's vlog here, guys. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Um, again, mismatch of a few days, but that's just my style at the minute because I'm a busy gal. Um, but yes, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you. I don't know why I'm counting down on my fingers. I will see you <laughs> in my next video. Bye, guys.